Brian Kilmeade visited a diner and uh, did some on the ground journalism, Jake, mm. real, real hard hitting. Wanted to ask the patrons in Florida specifically, whether they support Ron DeSantis or Trump for the Republican primary in 2024. Why don't we see what they said? 2024, who's pumped up for the election? <laughs> All right. Rap, rapid fire, who's your man, who's your woman? My man, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Christy, no. Who's your man? Donald Trump. Or woman? Trump. Trump. A lot of Trump fans. Trump and Nikki Haley. And Nikki Haley. Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. So far, a lot of Donald Trump. I see. I see uh, Governor DeSantis. And what about President DeSantis? I like it. I like uh, it. Who's your pick? Oh gosh, I don't know. Trump or DeSantis? I'm either or. So DeSantis got half. Right, because that woman was fine yeah. with, with so Trump. So they mentioned two candidates, so we scored them for both. And I know that our TYT logo was covering up the final score, so let me tell you. It was seven for Trump, one for DeSantis, and three for other. And every other was with Trump. It was Noam and Trump, and Nikki Haley and Trump, right? And then, and, and Fox News is going towards DeSantis. They want DeSantis to mm -hmm, win, right? Mm -hmm. So Kilmeade's like, anybody? I'm in Florida. He's the governor. He just won by 20 points. Will anybody say DeSantis? And it must have been a producer that tipped him off. They're like, go behind you, Brian. There's someone in a DeSantis t shirt, right? So he's like, oh, right. And he goes and finds the DeSantis lady. And even she's like, President DeSantis, I like it, <laughs> but Trump. Okay. Yeah, man. So, and that's na, na, guys, na, guys. No, no, Ron, you're done. Hold on, hold on. This is a this is a diner in Florida. It's in Florida. Yeah. It's in Florida. And it's a diner. These <laughs> are real Republicans. These are the actual voters. Democrats like diners too. Okay. Uh, don't, don't. I love diners. Don't you mislead them. Me? But like, it's in Florida. That's the relevant part, right? So, Floridians do really like DeSantis. But not enough to want him as president over Trump. And by the way, this isn't some scientific study, okay? This but isn't a nationally a representative sample. However, you know, this is anecdotal and still communicates something about where the hearts and minds of the Republican electorate lie. So, look, keeping it real, media uh, does an amazing job of influencing people. So, that's uh, part of the reason Trump won in the first was because not only Fox, but CNN, MSNBC, CBS, they all were like, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. And uh, Hillary Clinton outraised Donald Trump nearly two to one. But when you took free media into uh, consideration, Donald Trump was on uh, TV and, and uh, in media more than Hillary Clinton. Right. He, because he won free media, right? And so, so. In this case, they've been pushing towards DeSantis and anyone else other than Donald Trump. The problem is Trump already is famous and was president and is well known. So if you're doing it to a, a unknown progressive like Bernie Sanders was in 2015, you just go Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. You know how often ABC News primetime talked about Bernie Sanders in his legendary run in up to the 2016 primaries in the year 2015, as he's gaining giant momentum and closing a 50 point lead, seven seconds. They covered him for seven seconds. Thorough. The entire year, okay? So with progressives, the media, corporate media has a great way of shutting us out. Just don't talk about him, okay? And people won't find out. But on the right wing side, they already know Donald Trump. You're not gonna trick them, okay? And whether you like it or not, and and guys, there's one other thing about corporate media in Washington that's hard for you all to understand that when you live in the real world. In Washington, they don't know that they live in an alternate reality. They genuinely don't know that. So since everyone in Washington is going, oh, it's obviously DeSantis, Trump is done, Trump is done. Oh, It's definitely DeSantis, right? They all genuinely believe it, even though poll after poll shows, no, it's Trump, right? So this one is anecdotal, but just earlier today, I gave you the poll from Emerson. Trump's got a 30 point lead on him. I, my favorite is they did a, all the ones that are declared, Nikki Haley, some rando guy and Trump. Trump has a 61 point lead on Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, why is she even on TV? She's the most irrelevant person in America. No, you saw that diner. It's Don, Dunn DeSantis, that's what it is. Uh, stick a fork in him, he's done.
I wanna go to the very last video here because Kilmeade also caught up with Ron DeSantis and specifically asked him about some of the insults and attacks that Trump has thrown in his direction. Very curious what he had to say. I actually haven't seen this video yet, so let's watch. Are you guys speaking now? Do you plan on speaking to him? He seems to be taking some shots at you. No, I mean, look, I, I mean, it's silly season. I mean, you know how how some of this stuff goes, and obviously he he does his thing, and it's just that's kind of kind of kind of who he is. He can say you know what he wants about me. I'll always give him credit for the things that he did uh, that were positive, and I'm and I'm appreciative of a lot of, of the things uh, that he did. Doesn't mean I you know agree, agree with with everything um, that he's doing lately or whatever, uh, but ultimately it's about delivering for the people you represent. Na, 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 yeah, na, I, na, na, I don't know. I, I mm, that wasn't the worst response. It doesn't matter. It's, but he's he's scared. He's and you can it, hear it in his voice. And it's vanilla. He's a standard uh, acting politician, yeah. right? He's not going to win. It, what is that talking about? Uh, it's silly season. That's what people in Washington say when Donald Trump attacks people. Mm -hmm. That's not what right wing voters say. Okay, they don't think Donald Trump is in silly season when he attacks you. Okay, uh, and he's like, oh, you know, we, we don't agree with everything, really. What, what do you agree and disagree about? You're not even willing to say it. You're so scared, right? Oh, I mean, there's a lot that I agree with him on on what he did. You're so scared, and all you're doing is talking points. There's no chance that this guy. And did you hear him? Yeah, I mean, it's silly season. No, look, I give the right wing voters credit on this, and nobody attacks right wing voters more than I do. Okay, but. They are good at sniffing out elitist BS. They're not good at sniffing out any other BS. <laughs> they're, they fall for a lot of BS, right? But when the elitists come in, they're like, oh, do declare, I am the real populist here. The right wing voters are like, get, get, okay? I give them tremendous credit for that because the Democratic voters, they love elitist BS. You bring in an Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, CNN, New York Times, so right. Oh, these guys are really for us. <laughs> Klobuchar for you, for your Buttigieg. Come on. So, hey, there, right wing voters, don't ever say I didn't say something kind about you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.